Okay, welcome to the Real Estate Zone. I'm here with Carlo Mariani. Uh, Carlo is a property investor. Um, he's been a property investor for a number of years and he runs a very successful coaching business called The Property Coach. It's very exciting. I can really now see that I'm gonna be wealthy. So I'm gonna build a legacy for the next generation, you know, for my children. Absolutely amazing experience. I'm very grateful that I've taken this opportunity to be part of this team. I've learned a lot. So one of the most important things that I've learned is how to negotiate. So first of all, Carla, we've known each other, been property investors for a number of years. Yeah, many years. First of all, tell us about where your personal property journey started. Well, my personal journey started in 2003, almost by accident when I for the first time realized that I actually thought I was going to stay in South Africa for a little bit longer. <laughs> right. okay. And it started by accident. And you came from? Uh, I came from Italy. Whereabouts? Uh, in Milan, okay. the capital, right. the fashion capital of Italy. Wonderful, yeah. right? And you chose South Africa, wonderful. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> it was meant to be six months, it just became 20 years. Okay, wonderful. African time, eh? Okay. So where did you, where did the property story start? Where did, where did that start and how did it? Maybe you want to explain well, a little bit. Let, let, me, let me give you a joke, which is actually a real story. So obviously as an Italian, I met a lot of Italians and I saw them consistently losing money with restaurants and consistently uh -huh. making money with property. So I thought if I do property without the restaurants, then I'll be fine. Yes. <laughs> which is exactly what I did. Fantastic. Yeah. Where did you start first? What kind of property? Uh, we st out? started with, with very simple sort of like sectional title properties, the bread and butter of, of South Africans uh -huh. uh, in 2003 uh, still remains like part of my staple diet as a, as a property investor. I'm a big believer in calling, you know, small sized um, sectional title units and uh, yeah, that's where my, my journey started. Okay, but so, so yeah. we're talking flats, uh, townhouses, apartments? All of them. All of, All of them. them, yeah. Okay. okay, so tell us about the property coach. I mean, you, you, you now you, you built up a uh, Nice portfolio of properties, you've had some great success, but also had some tough times as well, I'm sure. Always, you know, yeah. when you start a new business, it yeah. comes with the good and the bad. Yeah, yeah and the ugly. But, but in property, I yeah. think, you know, it's also a bit of a journey of ups and downs. We've had different markets and all that. Or maybe you're doing something really special all the time. <laughs> well, I think, you know, I, I certainly they say that there is no such a thing as a bad property market. It's only the market you don't understand, you don't know. There's money to be made in every market. I mean, I'm a big believer that it's the best time to buy properties in South Africa in the last 25 years. I only came here in 99, so I missed the sort of greatest, the greatest time, which was probably 95. Yeah. But now it's a fantastic time to buy. The deals are out there. And, uh, and that's why we're here today for, for our sort of like buy below um, market value masterclass. Fantastic. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's hone in a little bit now on the property coach. Yeah. Okay. Now, I mean, I think it's a great thing to have a coach, to have a mentor, to have something, you know, I mean, I, I had one, you know, I mean, I'm also, you know, I believe in it. Yeah. I think the concept is, is, so tell us about the property coach, the process, and what, what, what can the people that sign up for the property, what can they expect? Well, first of all, is, is practical education. Right. You know, it's education that is built by, you know, many, many years of experience of myself in the trenches, doing deals on the residential side, on the commercial side, locally overseas, because there's education and then there's practical and usable education. So sure. those are two fundamental different things. The second reason why everybody should use a property coach in the journey is because inevitably you will have the ups and the downs, as you said, and that system of support and accountability is incredibly valuable. I always like to say that property is not easy, it's easier. Yes. Okay, but it's not a slam dunk. You still need to sort of work, work through it. The other thing is that you get access to an ecosystem right. of, of sort of like people, I call it my fast track success team, right. that you need to have because property is not a, a kind of like single sport, it's a team sport. Right. It's not an individual sport, it's a team sport. You need an ecosystem around you and that, you know, I will save you 15, 20 years of, of trial and error by being able to access that sort of success team working with a property coach. Excellent. Now, currently in Johannesburg, maybe you can demonstrate maybe one or two deals that, uh, that you 
in part with your, your team and, yeah. and, and how it works. Do you want to maybe just share some of that? Yeah, absolutely. I think, yeah. as, as, as I said to you, I'm still, I mean, I started investing in Janus with CBD in 2009. I know you did that as well, even before yes. I did. Yeah. I'm still a great believer in the long-term story of, of Janus with CBDs. You know, there are properties out there that can be bought for less than 200,000 Rand, yeah. and literally they will generate significant positive cash flow from world, from, from, from day one. Yes. They, there's nothing, such a thing as a shortfall, and, uh, and the banks are open for business. Uh, as well, so that's certainly an area that I want my my students, the, you know, working in Gauteng to to look at. Follow the big money is always a great strategy. There's big money going into into Jobo CBD. I mean, we've seen uh, Diversity Property Fund now announcing the deal with uh, the the rejuvenation of Absa Absa Towers. So that's uh, that's that's one good example that, that I want people to to work on. Fantastic. Yeah. So tell me. Um, you want to get your students. What, what message would you, would, you, would you give your students? Because some of them are at all different stages. Some yeah. are starting for the first time and they're scared and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, just, just two simple messages. Right. The first one is take action. Yes. You cannot win a game by being on the bench. Yes. You know? And this is the greatest time to take action. Yeah. So stop sort of like reading yes. and start doing. <laughs> And, and the second one is, is invest in your education because you're going to go out there, you're going to buy big ticket items and you know, a small investment in your property education is going to save you a massive amount of time, is going to save you a massive amount of money uh, from making mistakes because you don't have to make all the mistakes. Most of them have already been made for you. Yeah, and, and a lot of them by myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful way, as you say, the fast tracking way. Okay, then in closing, I think, Carlo, maybe give us just a couple of tips, maybe four or five, just for somebody that might be interested in the property coach. And that will say, listen, I want to I know a little bit more. Maybe you want to just share some of them. Say your top five property investment tips. Okay, well, that obviously is going to require like a whole sort of like half a day event. Okay, for, for, for well, that's do, good. For, for <laughs> doing that, and we do have great, uh, great property events. You can go to our website, www.thepropertycoach, and, and check them out. I think that I often refer, especially for Gauteng, I, I often refer to traffic, traffic, traffic. Right. You know, the consideration of traffic and how the transport infrastructure is reshaping itself along the lines of the cow train, the cow train bus, and the Ria Via. That's a very powerful tip. So if you don't know the corridors of freedom, mm -hmm. as somebody that lives in Johannesburg, invest in Johannesburg, get yourself updated with what the corridors of freedom will be doing to reshape um, Gauteng, to, to reshape Johannesburg, and how you can benefit and beat the average in terms of property returns. That's, that's definitely one thing. And uh, you want another one? Yes. Uh, I think we only got to three. <laughs> <laughs> you want the other one? Um, I think that um, definitely being formed, you know, before coming to South Africa, I used to live in London. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, in London, everything is small. Yes. And my first investment in, in, in South Africa was a 32 square meter, one bedroom, one bathroom. Mm -hmm. I remember people walking in and saying, well, I can't fit the couch in here. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, you know, the, the footprint is shrinking. So, you know, try to focus on smaller properties that are going to be low maintenance and more affordable for the average South African. So that way you've got a, a, a sort of infinite supply of rental demand because that's what we're after. We're after a supply of renters. Right. And that, that's, a, that's another very important uh, um, sort of like aspect to, to, to consider. So for you out there, I think, um, I mean, there's been some great insights from Carlo. As Carlo said, he's the man, he, he walks his talk, he's doing the deals. Um, he's not just talking about it. And I welcome you to engage on the property coach. Yeah. The property coach. Yeah. CEO .za. Absolutely. And you're running regular events. Maybe you just want to share that in terms of, uh, you know, you're going onto the website. Yeah, go on, to, go, go on to our website and we've got like an events page. You know, we've got full day workshops that are incredibly powerful. And that's where you can fast track your, your, your property success. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Carla. It's been great chatting. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Neil. Thank you. Thank you.